everybody, this is Callaway Talks. I'm Harry Arnett. You know Alan Hocknell if you've watched these videos for the past three years. And you know anytime <laughs> the good doctor and I show up in this here room, we have something major to, the, to uh, announce. And usually it's a product, if we're lucky. If I've got something to do with it, it's usually yeah, it's a product. Yeah, it's a volunteer, it's a product. And yeah. today, we're going to announce what I think is the biggest, most important collaboration among companies in the consumer category in my lifetime. <laughs> now I know there are people out there that are going to say, well, what about like Ford and Microsoft? That was a pretty big that one. That was pretty good. Admittedly, I drive a Ford, so that was a big one. Or probably what you were thinking, Taco Bell and Doritos <laughs> coming together. That was, that was a delicious collaboration. Well, that, that was unexpected, but wow. But nothing <laughs> as important to golfers as what we're announcing now, and that's the XR16 driver. Callaway and Boeing coming together to deliver really a package unlike anything we've ever seen. Yeah, uh, extremely excited for that collaboration. You know, we've uh, had a relationship with those guys for a little while and we thought we'd take that to the next level. Clearly they're, they're masters in what they do and part of that in making airplanes fly efficiently is to be really good at aerodynamics. And uh, we've already studied that uh, several times in the, in the last few years, but we wanted to take that really to the next level by asking those guys really what do they see in our problem? How do they, uh, how they analyze it, what ideas might they have if we give them a clean piece of paper. And our idea was to really break apart one of the things that really most people designing drivers really struggle with, and that is that if you want to make a, a driver forgiving, you usually have to make the body a little bit bigger, particularly in the front to back dimension. But that really goes against the driver being fast through the air in the downswing. So it might be forgiving, but it ends up being slower at the ball, and that doesn't translate to distance. We wanted to break apart the problem of forgiveness and fast and put them back together a different way so that we had both forgiveness and speed. I can hear all the people up there yelling at their TV or phone or computer, show the driver. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. So here's a driver and you can see like, you know, we know how, as you said, we know how to make drivers big and forgiving we and do. we know how to make them long, but making that thing incredibly fast moving through the air is quite a trick. Yeah, so here's one of the things. You've got this uh, longer dimension here. That's the forgiveness in there because there's more weight put at the back. But in order to make the driver go faster through the air, we need to control the airflow going over the crown here. And if we can do that, we can make the, the wake at the back smaller, less drag, more, ball, uh, more head speed on arrival at the ball and translates to more ball speed, more distance. The way to do that, that we figured out with the guys from Boeing, is to interrupt the flow of the air as it comes over the face uh, onto the crown right at this edge here with a tripping feature and that makes the air uh, more turbulent, There's particularly the air closest to the surface. Makes it more turbulent and effectively sticks to the, uh, the shape of the crown a bit better and makes the wake in the back smaller and uh, gives us less drag. So, sounds simple. There's a lot of computation, analytics, both at Callaway and at Boeing, experiments about just exactly where to put this tripping feature because uh, you can get it wrong as well. It's, it's quite sensitive, you know, to the position, the size, the shape of this feature right here. Um, and we proved through experiments we could make the aerodynamics both better and worse. Uh, so this is the way to make it better. And it gives us a boost in head speed and at the same time uh, an increase in forgiveness. So those two things that normally are contradicting each other are now actually working together. Well, if you wanted to make it worse, you just should ask me to come down. I, mean, I know <laughs> I could have made it worse. And we have a fairway wood that goes with it too. So if the driver distance isn't enough and you want more distance in your fairway wood, yeah. XR16 fairway wood, a great compliment. So some of the same principles at play here in trying to improve the forgiveness so it's a little bit bigger in this dimension here. We've kept uh, some of the other characteristics that we liked about XR fairwoods in there. Clearly the speed from the hyperspeed forged cup face is there. Uh, the launch conditions we like as well in terms of relatively low CG. But we really wanted to take that speed advantage from the face here and make it uh, available to you more consistently from all the places that you would hit a fairway. So not just the tee but the f from the fairway and out of the light rough. Uh, that's going to vary your impact location around the face and when that happens we wanted uh, extra stability in the head, more forgiveness to take your average uh, performance and, and increase that. So effectively the consistency improves and the total distance improves as a result. All right, you've done it again. I don't know what you guys are going to do to top this but we're going to enjoy this one for a while. I'd love that. Yeah. And these launch uh, end of January. That's the XR16 driver and the XR16 fairway. You see it right there. Forgiveness meets fast. Say that again. Forgiveness meets fast. Thanks again. We'll see you again on Callaway Talks.